Let's take a look how you can transform a regular extrusion into a really sharp perspective extrusion. I can type in the number three and I'm gonna go with the next uh, bold. Right click on the text, create outline, choose a color. And from here, let's go to the effects, 3D materials, 3D classics and select extrude and bevel. Let's go ahead and increase the extrusion depth to make it nice and high. For example, I'm gonna go with 900, 800, click OK. Let's go to the object, expand appearance, right click on group, right click on group again. And now we can separate the extrusion in pieces. Now we're gonna to need to unite these separated parts, plus that this kind of extrusion has more information in it, so we're gonna to need to unite. So let's press and hold shift, I'm gonna select all this part, and let's go to the Pathfinder, click on Unite. I'm gonna do the same thing with these guys, Pathfinder, Unite, and do the same with the rest as well. Great, so after we united them, we're gonna to need to cut off this curvature, for example, from this extrusion. So I'm gonna select the Direct Selection tool. Let's select this anchor point at the ending. Press and hold Shift, let's go to the opposite direction. And I'm also gonna select this ending. And let's go to the anchors and click on Cut Path at Select the Anchor Point. And this way you can remove this part. And I'm also gonna select the Direct Selection tool and delete this anchor point. So it's gonna be sharp. And I'm gonna to go to the quick actions, click on join. So this is how it should look. I'm gonna do the same thing with the rest as well. I'm gonna double click on, so it's gonna highlight the shape, select the end path and do the same with the opposite one. Cut them, delete. And I'm also gonna delete this one press on join. So we got these together. I also gonna need to put this edge right here and I gonna select all the edges. So this one is selected, press and hold shift. I also gonna select these and the uh, rest as well. And we're gonna go to the object. Let's go to the path and let's select average. Click on both and click OK and check that out. It made all the extrusion in one point. Now you also got some issues going on, but we're gonna correct those. And I'm gonna make this extrusion a little bit more shorter, maybe something like this. It also has too many anchor points, don't worry about those. I'm gonna select this extrusion here, press Shift plus M, or you can select the D direct selection tool right here. Press and hold Alt, and this way you can just draw a line and it's gonna cut it. I'm gonna select the pen tool from here and add another anchor point here. Select the direct selection tool and drag this anchor point. So we're gonna create a proper extrusion. Now I'm gonna select the number three, right click on it, arrange, bring to front. So it's gonna be on the top. I'm gonna do the same thing with these. And pretty much this was it for today. Thanks for watching.